Many people who study the Bitcoin community, albeit not very closely, initially label some of the early adopters as very cult-like. And this to me doesn't make a lot of sense. And today I'd like to explore this topic about what exactly is a cult and does it apply to the Bitcoin community? Now, for me, the word cult is neither good nor evil, but it describes a subset of human capacity of the larger surrounding culture. And some of the characteristics of a cult would be socially deviant beliefs holding its founder to the epiphany of the founding principles of said culture, and finally, holding regular ritual traditions. And I'd like to start with an existing well-known example, the United States of America. Is America a cult? Well, let's take a look at it. When America was first founded, the socially deviant beliefs at the time were that if you're willing to work hard, success is made available to you. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness above all things is a founding cry of the American people. The British Empire would absolutely describe what America was doing early on as socially deviant behavior. They weren't going along with the agenda whatsoever. Does America hold its founders as the epiphany of the principles to which it was created on? Quite apparently, the founding fathers, George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, John Adams, John Jay, these individuals are the epiphany of what it means to be American. Does America hold a regular ritual tradition? Every February, the Super Bowl hosts millions of viewers worldwide. The Super Bowl is one of the largest ritual traditions on the planet and people come together to partake in it, not because of their love of football, but because it's the American thing to do. Now, if you had a group of 100 people and 99 of those people were involved in, say, a cult, and one person had entirely different socially deviant beliefs, do you think those 99% of people would self-describe themselves as cultists? Or would they look at that one person who's different from them and say, what is wrong with that person? So is Bitcoin, as a community, a cult? Well, quite obviously, Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator and inventor of Bitcoin, is seen as the founding father. And he is the epiphany of what it means to be involved with Bitcoin. The principles of Bitcoin, that of disruption and scientific competition, are the founding principles to which Satoshi Nakamoto was the oracle of Bitcoin. Indirectly as well, Satoshi Nakamoto supports anonymity because their identity is not attached to the project of Bitcoin. Does the Bitcoin community hold regular ritual traditions? Quite frequently in a regular scheduled event, the Bitcoin block reward halves in a prepared for and embraced event of the Bitcoin community, in particular the mining community. And it is one which enforces the principles it was built upon of scientific innovation and disruptive competition. Does the Bitcoin community have socially deviant beliefs? Quite apparently, everyone involved in Bitcoin sees the potential and wants to reach the potential of this technology. As well, there seems to be among the Bitcoin community a deep loathing for the banking system. And interestingly enough, one of the factors for uniting people is a common enemy. This brings us back to our original question, is Bitcoin a cult? And the answer is a resounding yes. Bitcoin is in fact a cult. The only question which remains is when will Bitcoin reach that tipping point where it is no longer socially deviant behavior and it has reached critical mass? When will people in the streets and the average person be using Bitcoin? 
very much the same as the average person uses email today. The Bitcoin community and cult attract some of the most ambitious and intelligent people in the world. The Bitcoin technology has the potential to help not just millions, but billions of people. And that is indeed a worthwhile pursuit.